What's crack a -like and Challenger? I'm your host James Moreland. Today I got back from my trip. I spent a week at my dad's house and I'm finally back here in Racine, Wisconsin, chilling with my fish tanks and everything else. Before I left, it was extremely dirty, the entire area. And since then, my mom actually had some people come over to clean it, which is kind of embarrassing that someone had to clean this because it was that dirty. But that's what happened. So earlier I was on a plane and I flew here, so play some footage of that. And now I'm back here. So I'm gonna run through all my tanks and kind of give you kind of an update on the fish room and also the tank since I've been gone for a whole week and I can already tell you there's a lot of LG issues. There's one tank that's doing really bad, um, but the other tank's doing pretty well, especially the plants. So first off, spoiler. So you can actually also see this tank which is filled with plants and up here this is just a haven for tons of different plants. This tank also has tons of plants, the shrimp are doing really well. This tank actually cleared up quite a bit, there used to be more algae. I'm planning on cleaning it. I also got an assassin snail a week before I left. Hopefully it took care of the snails. My 90 gallon, my beautiful tank, I actually got a shipment of a lot of plants the day I left. So my mom actually had to open it and add it to my tank. So that is what that is, I'm going to be adding that to this tank. And also this tank, which leads us on to our betta fish sorority. I checked, the bettas are doing amazing, the neon tetras are also doing amazing. Um, and they've just been swimming around. I saw some shrimp every once in a while, but there's actually quite a bit of dirt over here, so I need to gravel vac that. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to add new plants to this tank soon. Then my sections of tanks, you can actually see my 20 gallon long, which is doing really well. We have tons of guppies in here, and some baby guppies. Also, the snails are doing really, really well. You can see some of the floating plants. Duckweed has taken over this entire tank. Then down here, which we have nothing in, I used to have my pea puffer peanut in here, but I actually gave them to my friend, and I'm actually doing a different tank for pea puffers soon. So this tank is actually just empty right now. I don't know what I'm going to put in this tank. If you have any suggestions for a 10 gallon, comment that down below. Then we have our betta fish tank. This tank is looking a little bit dirty. I'll have to go through, clean it. This is a new betta fish that none of you guys have seen. This is actually a rescue betta fish I got from my friend who kind of got out of the hobby. It's been trying to heal up. You can see the fins are actually a little bit clear and that's where it healed. But yeah, we have substrate, we have other snails in here that are doing okay. Um, and then this side, which the light isn't really showing too well, is the other betta fish. And you may be wondering, why did I write on this? And these betta fish actually started fin nipping and they were actually looking pretty stressed. So one way to combat that and kind of make them less bored, I actually drew on the tank so they can look at something and it's kind of interesting in something outside of the tank. So they might look at that instead of trying to nip their own fins. And then my 20 gallon tall, which you can see evaporated a lot. And you can see this, these little red tags. I actually put these on all my lights for my mom to turn on the lights during the day so she could remember to do that. And let's see if we can see the guy that's in this tank. Oh, he's in the back. It's a dwarf garami. And then um, also just tons of snails in here. Um, so I do need to raise the water line. I did recently raise all my water lines. Like this tank's a little bit higher. This tank was up here before I left, but evaporation. And this tank literally sunk down a lot. So yeah, just look at all these plants. They are killing it right now. Oh, I need to fix that. Ugh, th this is so annoying. I need to get like command strips or something. There we go. And some people ask me why I have these flags. I need to fix that one. Some people ask why I have them, and that's just because I don't like this orange wood wall behind it. Um, I just like the flags all around. And that's also why I have this white sheet right here. Also, when I'm filming videos, it looks way better for the background. So I think first I'm going to do a water change on my saltwater tank, and then just the rest of the tanks. But actually, let's feed these guys. I haven't been able to feed them myself for a while. Oh, going straight for the food. These guys are really, really awesome. Nothing's in this tank, but that's what I was talking about for pea puffers. Um, where is the food for this? All right, let's get the food. And this is my betta fish. Some food in there, hopefully, yep. There he goes, Inferno. And then kind of a bigger pinch for these guys. What's popping? I need to get a new light for this tank. It's not as bright as I'd want it. See all the big fish. You can see my angel fish. One of my favorite. You can see the other fish just swimming. I'm thinking about getting a huge school of new fish for this tank. I think that would look really, really awesome. Another pinch. This tank has an automatic feeder, but I don't know if it works really. Oh no, it definitely hasn't been working. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. I guess I'll just get a handful of food right here. Add them to this tank, add some to this tank. Then a little bit for the dwarf garami. It is awesome to be back. 
Alright guys, this was a little bit of a shorter video. Sorry about that. Hopefully we'll have some more videos longer in the future. I have some big plans um, for the entire fish room and for some other betta fish projects and some other projects. So I'll catch you all on the flippy flop. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like on this. Share this with any of your friends that are interested in fish. So I have a lot of work on my hands to have to clean these guys. Alright, I will catch you all on the flippy flop. See you all later. Bye.